This is the lesson from Math Pace 1076. We're going to actually start at the very beginning. Page 2 talks about mathematical expressions and at the bottom of the page what's called the order of operations. And I'm going to teach you a little thing I use with my students that I think will be helpful. Uh, mathematicians who are smarter than you and me have made some rules that we have to follow in order to solve expressions. And that some of those rules are there are certain operations that we have to do before we do others. For instance, we have to do any multiplying or dividing before we do addition and subtraction as the very last step. But there's two other rules before that. The first one is anything that's in parentheses like in this problem here, 3 times 5, or up here, 12 divided by 4, we have to do the parentheses first. Then as you'll see in a future page, I think it's page 4 or 5, the E stands for exponents. So that would be anything raised to a power, or even if there's a square root. We do those as the second step. Thirdly, we do all the multiplying and dividing. Now this is important. We go in order from left to right. Sometimes students see something that they like at the end that they think is easy to solve and they want to start here and work backwards, but we can't do that. We have to start at the left, work towards the right, and then the very last step is in the addition or subtraction, again, from left to right. Now, here's a way to remember parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, and subtract in that order. Please, <coughs> excuse me, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay? So let's try that again. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please, parentheses, excuse, exponents, my dear, multiplying and dividing, Aunt Sally. So that would be the addition and subtraction as the last step. Let's go through a couple of example problems here and uh, help you out, illustrate how to do these, and then you can do the homework. All right? So here, I do not see any exponents, and I do not see any multiplying and dividing. Excuse me, yeah, parentheses or exponents. So I'm going to do the multiplying, okay, and the dividing in the same step. So 5 times 5 is 25. I'm going to bring minus 7 down. Minus, and then bring down 18 divided by 3 is 6. Okay? Now I have only subtraction, so I can do my very last step but I go in order from left to right, okay? 25 minus 7 is 18, 18 minus 6 is 12, right? <clears throat> Let's look at this one up here. Now when we have a line that separates the numerator from the denominator, we simplify the entire numerator, then do the denominator, and then the last step is reduce the fraction if we need to, okay? So let's do just the top. And we have a parenthesis, so we can solve that and get 3, okay? And then 7 times 6 is 42. Now here on the bottom, I'm going to take the 9 times 3 and get 27, and then subtract 12, okay? 27 subtract 12 is 15. 42 plus 3 is 45 over 15, which when I reduce that, I would get 3. Okay, so you see the steps there. We did the parentheses first, multiplying, multiplying, last step, adding and subtracting, and then simplify numerator divided by denominator. Now this problem here has an exponent in it and a parentheses. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I want to start with the parentheses. So this will be 15, but then the next step I want to do is 2 times 3 is 8. Leave the divide, excuse, yeah, this is times, not plus, sorry. And then 6 plus, okay? Now, in the order of operations, I need to do uh, going from left to right, okay? I have multiplying and dividing. I need to do that all in the same step. <clears throat> 15 times 8 is 120. 
120 divided by 6 would be 20 for that part. And then I bring down the 6 plus 20, and now I can add that and get 26, okay? So again, you see those steps. We do the exponents first, our parentheses first, exponents second, multiplying and dividing in step three from left to right, last step addition and subtraction from left to right. Now I'm going to take this off and show you what I have hiding underneath here, because on page 11, we're going to do some simple algebra where we have to plug in what a is equal to, which is 5, and b, which is 3. And I took this as one of the problems on the page. I don't remember which one it was, but this will help you out if you watch this video, okay? So we're going to plug in these values, and then we're going to follow the order of operations, all right? So this becomes 3, and I'm going to plug in 5 here, plus 3, over, and we're dividing by 3, all right? So 5 plus 3 is 8, and then I can do the 8 times 3 is 24, divide by 3, and so the answer comes out to be 8, okay? So hopefully that helps you. Let's go over this one more time. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. It's very important that you follow the order of operations when you're solving problems in math and in algebra.